Greetings, people of the internet. This is Scott with CircWorks, and this is Fan Art Friday. And it's uh, what I try to do every Friday. So far, I've been keeping up. Is uh, just do uh, one fan art sketch every Friday, as I guess as the name implies. And uh, yeah, this one was this one. I wasn't sure if I was going to do um, because if you are watching this the day of, it is Halloween. So happy Halloween, everyone! Um, if you're in a country that celebrates Halloween or, or whatever, um, but if you aren't, you probably are familiar with the holiday. I'm sure because it's you know. We have the internet. <laughs> so, um, yeah, today I am doing Elvira, uh, Mistress of the Dark, who um, I assume most people are familiar with. Uh, she was kind of a, almost the precursor to kind of the mystery science theater. Um, not really the same thing, but she was like a horror host, and she would host like B-movies and things, and and uh, she kind of interrupt them and... and make snarky comments about him and everything like that um so and surprising you know i'm I'm familiar with elvira um but I, I never watched any of the old shows i watched some of her movie which wasn't all that great um in my opinion but uh i'm sure i would i'm sure i would like uh i'm gonna get my brush ready because i think i penciled that out um So yeah, I'm, I'm sure. I, it just seems like something I would enjoy because I, I I do enjoy like B horror movies and things like that. So, and I don't know. This brush is this is my good brush too, and it's acting weird. It's, it's like I've been having better luck with my cheapo brushes lately. It just doesn't seem like it's holding much ink, and it's giving me a real rough line, which sometimes you want, but n not in this case. Um, but anyway, so yeah, this this particular suggestion, um, this was given to me by uh, Jay Ferguson, who, if you aren't familiar with, he is an awesome artist, awesome airbrush artist, awesome artist in general, um, but uh, just really amazing with the airbrush, and you should go check out his website. I think it's I think it's airheads.com, um, but if you search Jay Ferguson or, or Airheads, you'll you'll find it. Um, yeah, I've, I've seen like he's been doing videos and his videos are great. And I just recently went to his website and saw a lot of the work that he does on like bikes and, and things like that. And man, it's it, it, in a way it's kind of specialized because he does a lot of, you know, skulls and things like that, which I think he mentioned he doesn't really care to do anymore because he's done so many. But there's so many different, just not just the, he does a lot of portraits, but then I was also amazed by some of the graphics and stuff that he did, like uh, he was doing just flames and, and just, I don't know how else to explain it, just, you know, bike graphics and things, but just, I don't know, just really amazing artists. So thanks, Jay, for the suggestion. And um, so anyway, yeah, so this is, you know, if you know the kind of stuff I do, most of it, <laughs> most of it ends up being more of a caricature than an actual, you know, portrait. It seems even when I try to do portraits, they end up looking caricature-y. So, but, um, so yeah, I've switched over to my, my cheap brush. <laughs> it's just this, which for whatever reason is giving me better lines. So I might need to get get some some new brushes here but yeah uh, like I said it's Halloween so I'm, I'm just a huge Halloween enthusiast so um, I've been working on some props and things for a a haunt for my friend my friend you know I'm gonna go over to my friend's house and we're gonna do you know this big pirate themed kind of decorated his um, yard and everything so after this I'm gonna go over and do that usually I try to film these Thursdays but I've just been so busy doing else every I mean that doing everything else that I haven't had a chance so 
this I'm kind of a late I'm kind of late on this one but but I did want to get it up I wanted to keep the momentum and I didn't want to you know break from doing these uh, fan art videos this one's gonna have a lot of black in it <laughs> which uh, I'm drawing these lines here because I'm gonna I'm, I want to show like the white in between the lines but I'm just wondering maybe it would be better if I would have just got some white uh, ink or paint and done them that way which I still might do but, but anyway at least this will indicate where I want those lines if I decide to go over them a little bit more so so yeah I've always always since I was a kid I've always been really you know involved at Halloween and it probably you know comes from my parents I mean way before there was <laughs> such a thing as cosplay and I may have talked about this before I don't know but my parents would make me some pretty cool Halloween costumes me and my brother it was funny um, so my favorite my favorite Halloween costume that I've ever had as a kid was um, it was a little after Star Wars came out and my mom and dad made this costume it was a Tusken Raider um, if you're familiar with Star Wars those are the sand people the guys that knock Luke out and dragged him away, or tried to drag him away before Obi-Wan came along um, but uh, if you remember they rode these things called banthas these big giant they're probably I think in them I think they were actually in real life there might have been elephants that were covered with this big fur but they got these horns and everything so um, my parents made a costume of me riding a bantha so basically my upper body was the Tuscan Raider guy and then I had like artificial legs that would hang off this creature and I would just walk around and uh, I mean it was just incredible and I've got pictures of it. somewhere on an old blog I've got pictures of it I should probably share some of those um, but yeah and I, <laughs> I mean it was just it was just awesome I just love that costume but <laughs> I was in uh, you know getting getting things purchasing things and whatever getting things ready for this Halloween um, haunt that I'm working on we usually go to Goodwill We're, it's a pirate theme so we try to go and find stuff that would work for pirate clothes or whatever else we can find you know just stuff on the cheap and I was looking in their Halloween section and I saw this little look like a little Tuscan Raider uh, like a doll like a little stuffed doll like a plush toy and I picked it up and it was attached to a, a bantha <laughs> and I was like it was what it was was it was a costume for a dog <laughs> and so you dress you kind of put it the the Tuscan Raider guy um, kind of sits on top of the dog I guess <laughs> and and, it, and what the one thing is I mean it looked like it was brand new like it had never been like used or whatever or maybe just once on Halloween and I picked it up and there wasn't a price tag or anything on it I'm like this is cool and it just reminded me of the costume my my parents made for me um, and so I'm walking around with it I went up there and asked the lady how much it was and it was like 30 bucks and which was probably worth it because it was in good condition but and I do have a dog but for one thing my dog would never wear it <laughs> he would just shake it off and uh, and two I probably wouldn't I'm not the kind of person that dresses up my dog for Halloween so but I, I was thinking about just getting it just to have it because it was so cool but I didn't so I'll probably regret that but anyway I just thought that was funny I'd never see, seen seen that before usually I've, I see a bunch of kind of cool Star Wars stuff on the internet like I've seen um, the Tauntaun sleeping bag that looks looks like his guts when you slice him open with, with a with a uh, <laughs> lightsaber and you can sleep in it and everything and some cool stuff like that but I'd never seen that dog costume before so I thought that was kind of interesting um, but yeah my my parents made all kinds of really cool Halloween costumes for me and now it's like everyone kind of does that it seems like now that cosplay's big but back then and you know back then there wasn't an internet so a lot of the stuff my parents just had to figure out how to make the stuff on their own and there wasn't any like tips and, and things like that which you know we kind of take for granted now like when we're working on these Halloween haunts 
we get videos on how to do certain props and how to do certain like real cheap animatronics using you know we've got we've got um uh one prop that is a it's we're kind of building the crack and like the the not the whole crack but just uh the tentacles and it's hooked up to like the shiatsu massager so the massager thing goes like that and we've hooked the tentacles up to that and a lot of that kind of stuff we saw how to do on the internet because posting videos and and i posted a few videos on on props and things that i've made so it's just real cool to have everyone sharing all those ideas and things and it's a lot easier than having to figure out a lot of that stuff on your own so so yeah after this i'm gonna go and i'll I'll shoot some video of of what we've been working on as part of that mad props you know series of videos that i've been working on but it probably won't be like a tutorial but i'll just kind of show some of the stuff we work on but the thing is it's in the daytime it doesn't look that great so i'm gonna try to take some nighttime shots because it's really everything's has to do with the atmosphere um um because we've got fog machines and a lot of the stuff is like black light sensitive and and stuff like that so um but a lot of that doesn't really photograph too well so but we'll see we'll see what it <laughs> what it comes out like um but yeah let's see uh what other cool halloween costumes i had a pretty cool boba fett costume i'm trying to remember what all it was made out of i remember i remember like the and one thing i remember was the 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 missile that was on his back was made out of these the <laughs> yo play containers the yogurt containers and they were kind of two of them stacked on each other and some other stuff and um you just use all kinds of weird things but and I kind of do some of that stuff now with my kids, but, you know, I don't know how to sew or anything real. I mean, I can sew kind of some stuff by hand, but, the, you know, just for certain things. But so a lot of the stuff like my daughter wants to be is, you know, more, you know, dresses and things like that, which, you know, it's not really it's something that I'm used to. So. So their mom kind of handles some of that those type of costumes and things but the boys they want to you know where when they were now they're a little older but they still dress up you know they're big into anime and everything like that so um, I had to make some kind of anime costume and my son showed me the pictures of it and uh, I was like yeah it shouldn't be too difficult but it's just like these simple little props that sometimes take a long time he wore these like certain mp3 uh, player headphones that you know you look online and they're like hundreds of dollars super high end so I just try to make something that looked like them and it took forever for just this simple prop that <laughs> probably no one's even gonna really notice or notice the difference but that's kinda what you do when you do this stuff so anyway yeah what else um, we used to do we used to do actually like I've had a couple times where we actually made like haunted houses and things like that that was always fun to do this thing we're doing now is just a it's just a kind of a yard decoration but we would have like block parties and rope off rope off there was a cul-de-sac right across from my house so we kind of roped that off and have big parties there and stuff but a lot of the people we used to do that with moved away, so don't really do that anymore. So, so I haven't really had a chance to decorate my own house in a while because I've always going over my friends and, and doing his. So it's like I thought about putting some decorations up, but then I wouldn't be here on Halloween. It's like you know you don't want to have a yard that's decorated for Halloween and not be there to pass out candy. So.
Anyway, what else? What else is going on? I've just, yeah, it's like, so I've got all this, you know, stuff to do to prepare and everything. And I've, you know, we got a lot done yesterday on it. So we got, we've got a huge grave, uh, graveyard. So I just made some gravestones and collective gravestones over the, you know, few years. So I've, I've got tons of them. And, uh, got all most of that set up and we got some like skeletons and stuff kind of coming out of the graves and all that stuff but we've got most of it, most everything set up we just got little odds and ends and things we got to worry about but hopefully I, like i said i'll film that and oh excuse me i'm starting to yawn hopefully i'm not not too tired But it's fun, you know. Just do this here, sorry. Just trying to concentrate a little on these eyelashes. Oh, and I just messed up there. There's a little blip there, which I can fix, I think. Just make her hair come out here a little more. That should do the trick. Some things you can fix <laughs> real easy. I don't know if you guys are watching. I did a a while back. I was doing one of these fan art Fridays of of Groot, and I dropped my brush, and it fell right on the right on the uh, <laughs> just a big splotch right over his uh, under his nose. So I just kind of turned it into a mustache for a little while, and eventually I fixed it. But And speaking of you know, Halloween costumes, I'm I'm kind of curious to see what what's out there. It's just amazing with all these Marvel movies, you know what what kind of costumes. Usually, you don't get to see too many of the really cool ones. I mean, it's usually just the store bought ones, which still are they've come a long way since when I was a kid when we had like the. The Ben Cooper costumes, which are basically the plastic masks, which now, just for nostalgia's sake, I really like those. But I mean, they're they were pretty. <laughs> they were, you know, it was basically like you're wearing a trash trash bag or with the character, the name of the character printed on the bag, and then a mask of the character. So, I think that was like my very first costume um, that I can remember. I may have had something before that, but it was a. A Snoopy and it was one of those Ben Cooper ones and then like I said after that my parents just really started getting into it and I don't know I'm not really sure you know where they got that from or you know what made them decide to kind of go all out and do that kind of stuff but so glad they do I think that that contributed to a lot of you know my creativity I think that kind of stuff I was Tron once, and my mom, I don't know how they did it, but they made this costume. It was pretty much all out of, like, this blue cellophane stuff. I know it's hard to describe, but I've got, like I said, I've got this old blogger um, thing where I, I was actually doing sketches, kind of like I'm doing now, but I was just doing of all the different costumes my brother and I had uh, been over the years. So I just do a sketch of each character, and then I'd show the picture. That was a long time ago when I did that, though. And I wish wish the picture quality was a little better, you know. Back then, they, we didn't have this the digital cameras and everything, so. So the pictures, you know, don't hold up as much as, or as good as, like a lot of these digital ones. But oh, let's see what else. <laughs> I'm just trying to think of like Halloween memories and things like that. Um, yeah, one costume I was that I don't. It's kind of a weird thing. Like I don't know that I could even really do it nowadays, but. And it's it's weird because I've heard different opinions on this type of thing, but 
One year I went as Mr. T, and, uh, you know, because this is in the 80s, and I was a huge fan of Mr. T, you know, and so we, my, my mom got some, like, the brown, you know, the hairspray stuff that you spray your hair with, um, and uh, basically sprayed my whole body with it and everything, so, you know, because you want to look like Mr. T, and, um, but nowadays it's like, I've I've seen people that have done that, and it's like, they, you know, it's, it, it's almost like, oh, well, that's blackface, but I don't, for one, I don't really think people that say that understand what blackface is, because it's, it, you know, we were trying to get, you know, an authentic look of what Mr. T looks like, and, you know, he has a different skin tone, so we're trying to match that, just like if you were going to go as somebody from Avatar, you know, the James Cameron's Avatar, you would use blue paint or whatever, so, and you're not, it's not a comment on a particular, you know, group of people. It's a, it's, you're trying to be one person who I happen to like, I happen to look up to, you know, as a kid and I wanted to be him for Halloween, but, um, but I saw somebody online went as, she was just a cosplayer and she, she's a white girl and she went as Michonne from Walking Dead. And I mean, it was a really good costume. She did a great job and everything. And, you know, and there was people, you know, saying that that was racist or whatever, which I, I just don't, I don't know. I don't agree with it. I don't think, I think, you know, if you're not, if you're not, if you're doing something out of love, if you're doing, you know, if, if you're, you're not making a comment on somebody's particular race or you're not making, you know, you're, I don't know. You're not saying, well, all these people are like this and I'm making fun of a, you know, whole race of people. You're, you're being one particular character and, I don't know. I don't really see anything wrong with that, but sometimes it's frowned upon. So I don't know. It, you know, it's a t kind of a touchy subject and in some ways I can understand why, but you know, if you're, hold on just a second. I just got a pop up on my, all right, we get, <laughs> sorry about that. I got stupid. I, I gotta update my virus software or something because I'm getting these problems. <laughs> anyway, sorry about that. What was I talking about? Oh yeah, I was talking about my Mr. T costume. But anyway, it was, I, it was a fun costume. I <laughs> had a. My mom made a, a ball cap out of like a. It was a pair of pantyhose, and then she stitched like some, some, uh, you know, the mohawk onto it and everything, and had some gold chains and the tube socks with the stripes on it and the vest and everything and man but yeah that was a fun costume so so hopefully no one will think less of me because I was Mr. T for Halloween but you know again if you grew up in the 80s like me I mean you know he was kind of a role model for a lot of kids I mean and I love the A Team and the Rocky movie and nice Rocky movies, but he was only in one. But anyway, so you know, and you know, if you're you know, if you're not, say, if you're not white and you want to dress up as like Spider Man and you know, well, I guess I, now there is this uh, you know, uh, half black, half uh, Hispanic. Spider-Man, but uh, you know before that wasn't the case. So I mean, it's like what well, you can't dress up as Spider-Man because you don't you're not a white guy like Peter Parker. Which I guess it doesn't matter because you're wearing a mask. But I don't know. I think people should, you know, be able to dress up as whoever they want. I guess as long as you're not, you know, it's not mean or or mean spirited. <laughs> but I guess I should get off this topic. I don't like to talk about like weird controversial stuff like that but anyway so yeah this one might might be a shorter one um as far as videos go which is good because i gotta of course there's gonna be a lot of blacks and stuff i gotta fill in here but gotta get get back to doing some uh, all the you know halloween props and, and stuff like that so yeah i'm just curious what uh, what about you guys out there what uh, kind of stuff do you dress have you dressed up as Halloween for Halloween and all that kind of 
stuff. I had, uh, so, as an adult, you know, I, I've had some pretty cool Halloween costumes that I put together, but it seems like I reuse a lot of them. I just don't have the time to, to put into making them all now, you know, but I did make a really cool, I have, I have a really cool Gene Simmons costume that I made, and I made the boots and everything, and called, carved those out of foam, and it was that spray foam stuff, that spray insulation foam, and I just took a pair of old shoes, and like, I bought these, these sandals, I guess they were like flip-flops, but they were kind of high-heeled flip-flops, so they're real stick thick like this and I bought a few of them and I would glue them together so to get the height for like the Gene Simmons like the elevator boots and uh, then I glued those to just some sneakers and then I sprayed the whole thing with spray foam and carved it out like the demon boots and it's it's probably one of the costumes that I probably wore the most nowadays because it's it's just it looks good and it's you know I've got probably putting the makeup down to a science but I also have I made a pretty authentic like uh, um, Captain Jack Sparrow which I'm kind of wearing the nat sort of tonight but uh, I'll just as far as the costume but I'll probably f paint my face up as like a like some sort of a ghost pirate or something to go along with the theme um, and then I made a con from uh, <laughs> from uh, Wrath of Khan, Star Trek, and that one that one came out pretty good. Not everyone knew who I was, you know. Cer certain people, geeks and stuff, would know, but I only wore that one once, which I'd like to. I might have to. I might have to lose a little bit of weight because I don't want my gut sticking out because my whole chest was exposed. And I actually. <laughs> actually shaved my chest for that one <laughs> and yeah that's once that starts growing back that's very uncomfortable for <laughs> a few weeks but yeah that one that one came out good I was happy with that one so but yeah I'd like to I keep waiting for the next big idea that I can it's sometimes it's hard to find great ideas of what to be for Halloween that, you know, as far as costume goes, that's, you know, a lot of, you know, and I would like to, you know, most of those characters and stuff, it, I like to do something that's a little more humorous because I like to, like, actually get into character and you know, try to do the voices of whatever the characters are and, and just do that for one night. So, so I usually try to pick something that can be a little bit humorous. So, which limits you a little bit, but so it's not, it kind of puts like the creatures and scary stuff like that, or you know, because like I'm a fan of you know, universal horror film, the universal monsters and stuff, and it would be cool to actually like do, you know, try to make like a, I don't know, a creature from the Black Lagoon or something, but I don't know, I usually stick with the more humorous stuff. Which creature from the Black Lagoon is probably, I mean, it's just amazing that that, I mean, that costume still, it just, even today, I think it just looks great, you know, that costume design. A lot, most of those universal character design, like I've heard that they're going to, heard that they were going to remake some of the movies, but I don't, I'm afraid they're going to screw them up. Like, I don't know if that, that Dracula movie that just came out was part of it. I hope not. Because I haven't seen it, but it just doesn't look like a horror movie. It looks like a, you know, like an action-adventure movie. But And I wasn't I wasn't a big fan of The Mummy when they remade that with Brendan Fraser or any of that stuff. I don't know. I don't know. I'd like to see him try to actually take the original look of those creatures and try to do something new with them. But... I have a feeling they would screw it up somehow, so it's probably better to leave well enough alone. Yes, I thought I heard somebody said because of the success of the Avengers that they were going to try to do the same thing, like bring all those characters together, like probably start doing them 
uh, individual movies and then and then bring them together which you know there's been certain ones like you know Frankenstein meets this guy or that that they used to do in the past but um, it's a cool concept but I just again I'd be afraid that they would mess it up and it's probably just me getting older but but most of the, you know, I don't know, those movies, you know, those those movies were before I was born, and they're still, you know, I still appreciate them, so it's not like, it's not like I'm thinking back to when I was a kid, things that I liked, it's, you know, I just think certain things like that stand the test of time, I mean, and certain, you know, I mean, some of it, you know, the pacing and everything, it's, a, you know, those movies, are, it's a little different than what we have today, so it's, you know, but you have to kind of realize, and a lot of the stuff, if you watch these movies after the fact, I mean, you've already seen a lot of those tropes and things, or things that have become tropes from those movies, and it's like, well, I've seen this before, I've seen this before, you know, over and over again, but what you have to realize is when you're watching those, the classics, you've, you've seen it before, but it all came from this, this is where it started, all these things that you're seeing, that you've seen before, this is, this was you know, original. This was not something that you, you know, it was something brand new back then. So you got to really appreciate, appreciate that too. So, all right, I'm going to switch over to a bigger brush here. Hopefully this brush isn't messed up. So this I'm using, uh, Sometimes I use this Higgins Black Magic, which is sometimes I get some that's decent, sometimes not so decent. I'm using this FW ink, um, which is an acrylic. It's got a really, it's really nice and dark. So especially for something where I have a lot of darks, like this one, it works well. But sometimes like it, it just seems like it doesn't. Uh, I can't get enough of the ink on my brush a lot of times, so I don't know. Although right now it seems to be working pretty good. I'm gonna check the time, yeah. I think I have some time. I've gotta get going pretty soon. So I'm hoping I was thinking what I might do with some of these videos is maybe not just doing them straight through, maybe working on a little bit and then, you know, skip forward or you know, I could do a time lapse or I could just, you know, because really, I'm just inking, and it's just over and over again. And I'd like to do some more of the actual drawing, too, not just the inking. But because I draw so light with these blue pencils, it doesn't always come out. So I'll have to either switch to a different pencil or... I don't know. But I do I do want to experiment with trying different formats. But it's it's kind of weird because... I was talking to somebody online on the YouTube and, you know, they said that I liked the videos that they, just, they were, you know, a little too long and I can totally understand that. But then again, there's people that, you know, just like to put these on while they're working and, um, and they don't mind it so much. They, for whatever reason, <laughs> they like to just hear me talk. Which I don't, it's, you know, which I like that too. I like to hear other people talk too, but it's sometimes it just seems like, I don't know if I have, to me... I don't know if I'm just repeating things or if I have anything that interesting to say, but if there's people out there that enjoy it, then, you know, I guess I'll keep doing it. You know, they say that, you know, people usually like to hear themselves talk, even though they don't admit it, that, you know, when you're, they say, what is it, the best, the best conversation, the best conversationalists are the ones that just let everyone else talk and listen, you know, because people... You know, when people say, oh, yeah, I like him. He's a really, he's really, you know, good conversationalist, which usually means they just let, let that person talk because, and for whatever reason, people think that makes somebody else, like if you just sit there and listen to what other people are saying, that's what actually people see as a good conversation, which is kind of weird, but maybe that's true. I don't know. Let's see. So 
So I would have, I wish I had time. I would have liked to, I might still be able to pop some color in. I still got to get, I still have to get that, that Japanese ink. Um, I don't know the name of it, but I'll have to look it up. I, I think I bookmarked it or something, but it's supposed to work with the Copic markers. Cause I like, cause she's got kind of the, the purplish pinkish eyeliner and stuff that really would help pop this out, which, you know, I'd like to do, but I think for now I'm going to have to wait on that because there's just a lot to do today that I got to get to. So so maybe it's just, just me. I don't know. It's like, it seems like I had a, a client call me like today and it's like, almost kind of a rush job type thing, but I was able to kind of convince them that, you know, to wait until Monday or whatever, but it's like, I don't know. I know Halloween's not like an actual, like it's not a holiday that you people take work off of or anything like that. And not everyone gets into it. And some people don't even think twice about it, but to me, it's a big deal. So when that stuff happens and I got all this stuff to do, it's like, ah, why do they always, always call me on Halloween? Yeah, I remember one one year I had this uh, this ad agency call me with they needed a storyboard done, and uh, you know Halloween I had to work through the whole thing and I was not happy about it, but I charged them an arm and a leg for it. So <laughs> so I did you know money wise it was worth it, but if if you're gonna you know interrupt my whole everything because you need something right away then that's going to cost you a little extra or a lot extra so but luckily in that but it, it seems like that's happened a lot you know not recently but until until today but and then I got you know a call uh, from my ex-wife who said that the my daughter has an awards ceremony at school today, and she can't make it. She wanted to know if I could go, so I'm gonna. That's where I'm gonna head up right after I probably after I finish this, because my daughter's up for some awards. I know she's got perfect attendance, so that's one of them. But it's like I just heard about this yesterday. You know, it's like, ah, why can't people give me a little bit more of a heads up? So, and then I gotta get. Let's see. I got a, made a list of things that I need to get ready for those decorations. I've got uh, what else? What I got to bring? I got to get some. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw the the. If you watch my 100 Days of Making Comics, I had one of them, and I went back and labeled all of those videos, so so you could find it if you wanted to, but. I built this little um, playroom for my kids, and it's it's just like it was a little attic space that wasn't much room. It's just kind of where the the roof kind of comes down at an angle, so you kind of have to squat to get in there and everything. But I made it into a built it into like a little finished attic, like a spaceship. But there's a little tunnel in there, and it's got black lights and everything. I might not have shown that. I don't I don't know because it's hard to see on camera, but. I got to go in there because we need some extra black lights. I'm going to have to go in there and try to pull those lights out of there, which if I remember the way I hung them, it wasn't easy to do. So just little things like that. But like I said, I want to, I want to try to film some of that and make a video of it. And unfortunately, a lot of her eyelashes which are probably her like one of her <laughs> defining features besides her huge breast <laughs> um i just kind of they went over into the hair here so you're not going to see that but and of course her hair you know it's a big hair Yeah, it's kind of a kind of an interesting character though. Yeah, it's I wish they had more of those where they were kind of the horror movie host where they would do I think she I think she's actually doing more videos and she still looks pretty good. I don't know how old she is, but you know, like I said she was big in the 80s, but she's doing videos now and she still looks pretty good. Of course, you know, a lot of it the the, the wig and all that. Once you have all that, it can kind of 
it's kind of, I guess it's kind of the same thing with Kiss. I mean, even though they're older, once you get the, the makeup and the hair and the costumes, it kind of, it takes away, you know, it, that helps kind of the illusion and, and because there's so much character in that, that you don't really see how they've aged as much, which I'm wondering if that's one of the reasons why they Kiss brought back the makeup. Well, one, because, yeah, there's probably pr plenty of reasons, but I think if they were performing now without their makeup, it, you know, it might not, uh, just because they are older, it's like, you know, you see Rolling Stones, they're still at it, and, man, it's like, you got to really admire the people that can do that. This, my brush is, like, totally crooked, and I don't even think I'm trying to, there you go. I couldn't even line it up because it was so crooked. This big brush has seen better days. But I'll have to get some more. These are the the Series 7, the Windsor Newtons. They're fairly expensive, but I thought I, you know, maybe it... I thought I went online and I saw some, and maybe I was looking at the wrong ones or whatever, but it, it looked like they weren't as much as I thought they were. Because it looked like I could pick some up for around, I don't know, I thought I saw some that were like around 20 bucks or whatever, but I always thought that they were like hundreds of dollars or, because I've got mine on sale and I thought even on sale they were like $50 each, but I don't know. I may have been looking at the wrong brushes. So... I hope this video is not too boring. It's just a lot of me filling in blacks. <laughs> but I don't know. Maybe it's maybe it's something just to see see it come together. I don't know. But what was I talking about? So yeah, I was just talking about this character in general and those type of movies and um, like I said before. So yeah, they would you know the the or, there was a show on, I think before Elvira's show. Uh, called Fright Night, which was, you know, if you've seen the, the 80s movie, that's kind of what it was based on. It was kind of sort of a, kind of a spoof in a way of, of that type of thing. They had a, the, the horror host character who actually had to fight the vampires. That's a great movie. And the remake, the one with Colin Farrell, was actually pretty good too. You know, there's, every once in a while nowadays, somebody hits on something and they're able to add something new and still kind of keep, keep some of the the original intentions of those movies, you know. Because you don't want to just repeat exactly, you know, what the originals do, but you want to you, you want the you want that same uh I don't know, you want that same feel. You want that, you know, something it, uh I can't think of the word I'm trying to and there's a word I I want to use, but I don't know. Anyway, So, yeah, don't know. I don't even know why I drew these eyelashes over here because I knew I was going to cover them up with this black. But, yeah, I mean, I I like watching... I, I used to listen to a lot of podcasts where they would actually watch movies and they would just kind of <laughs> basically tear them apart or reveal all the plot holes and things like that, which is... Sometimes that can be fun, and then... After a while, I just kind of got bored bored with those, you know. But I love, like, mystery science theater and B-movies in general and things like that, so. I'd like to see them do more things like that. I was watching, and there's a, there's a show on, a YouTube show, where it's kind of like a mystery science theater. I think it's called, I think it's called Cartoon Lagoon, I think. I've got it. I've got it bookmarked, but um, they've got like puppets and stuff, and and they do instead of you know old B movies, they take all these old public domain cartoons like Popeye and uh, Three Stooges, and and uh, um, I'm trying to think what are some what are the other ones that they do. I don't know. Just you know, I think some of the old there's like old soup. I I don't know if the Charles is it. Is it Charles Fleischer? Is he the one that did the Superman? I know it's Fleischer. I don't know if it's Charles, but 
them. Um, that might be the guy who plays Roger Rabbit. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, um, the Fleischer, uh, Superman, those might be in public domain. I don't, I don't know. But anyway, they would take the public domain, um, cartoons and they would kind of do like a mystery science theater thing where they make fun of them and that's kind of a fun YouTube show if you haven't seen that. Now we're getting there. It's like I said, this one's just a lot of <laughs> a lot of adding blacks. I wonder if I should bring some of these I've got all these sketches piling up for me doing all these videos and I don't know what to do with them so maybe I'll bring them with me to uh, this next Comic Con people like to you know some of, I, I sell a decent amount of them you know but it just depends you know what it, what they are and everything and but people one thing people do love is just flipping through them you know but like this is a bigger side like I used to work let's see Like this one, I, this is a little smaller size. So typically I work at like that size, but lately I've been doing some of the bigger size. So I don't know, but people like to, you know, just flip through all the different sketches and stuff. And it's some good conversation starters and things like that. So, so I might have to make a, I had a little stand that, that held these, the, the other sketches, but these ones, uh, these ones are a little bit bigger. So I might have to make another kind of holder for this but this phoenix fan fest which is going to be the next show i do it's i just got a table whereas before at phoenix comic con i had a booth so i got to figure out some way to you know <laughs> to have more room i'll probably just have to build up a little bit and hopefully it's it's in a different venue it's at the um the football stadium so I don't know if there's what kind of height restrictions they have, you know, but I might have to lose some of my products. I, you know, eventually I want to get away from doing like the parody stuff and all that, like the, but unfortunately that stuff usually sells pretty well. So it's like, ah, what do I do? You know, but I want to, I do want to transition to doing more of my original stuff. And right now I have definitely, I have more of my, I have more of my original stuff like for sale um but i probably still make more even though i have less of it make more of the fan art and everything but and we shall see it should be fun i would you know i really want to do more shows i just this last year was just like kind of had to watch my pennies and things so but i it's like this business, it's like when it rains, it pours, you know, it's either feast or famine. You've heard that before, but, but it looks like it might start pouring, which is good. But, you know, of course, then you're busy and you don't have time to work on like sketches and things like that or comic books and all that. But yeah, I got a lot of stuff on the horizon. So and if a fraction of it starts to materialize, then I'm going to be pretty busy. And then you got to find time to do those shows, but it's just, you know, just all about time management. So it's, you kind of, seems like the busier you are, the more, I don't know, the more, that, that, I guess that stands to reason. I was going to say the busier you are, the more you get done, but it's like the more time you can kind of find, like, when you're not so busy it's like you're kind of it seems like for me anyway you're kind of wandering around kind of aimlessly well what do i work on you know can i work on this or this but you're kind of when you're busy you're kind of fo forced to be more focused and because there's no other option so you really have to start planning things a little better which you should be doing all along but you know all right we got our pupils here let's see if i can sometimes these are pretty big, so I can. I think I should be able to do them. But sometimes pupils are easier to do with like a a pen rather than the brush. But so. 
so there she's getting close to being done I'm gonna if I can find my white pen my gel pen here I might try to extend some of these uh, the white here let's see I don't know if I can no nope, that didn't work hopefully this isn't running out of ink man I've mentioned this before oh not totally dry yet almost messed that up I mentioned this before but I really do like these gel pens eh. but I'm not liking what it's doing there that's Huge beehive care uh, there. It's funny because she's kind of. You would think by the look of her. I mean, she, uh, this this is kind of hard to tell because she's so humorous looking in my particular version, but. Um, if you've ever watched Elvira, she's kind of got a, a, a like a valley girl type persona, which is a kind of good juxtaposition over the kind of the horror elements. So well, that's a little bigger than I wanted. So. else here what's going oh that must be her shirt here Let me... bring some of her hair down here let's get there Yeah, I don't know when to stop here. <laughs> I don't want to add too much of the hair, but but yeah, that that's get. We're getting close to wrapping this thing up, so hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully, I don't know how long it's going to take me to upload this thing because I'm I'm going to have to get going pretty soon. <laughs> Maybe I can get it running, and then by the time I might have to come, I didn't want to have to come back to my house after this award thing with my daughter, but I might have to. Um, to get all this other stuff ready so but yeah that's that's Halloween for me it's always a busy time so all right I'm gonna quit with the white there and uh, I guess next thing to do is just I want to do some minor things real quick if I can Get that to go a little more of a point. I didn't even do anything. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna sign my name here, and then uh, wonder how long this is. About an hour again. These always seem to go about an hour. So sorry, folks, if you're looking for shorter videos like I said I do want to do some and but this right now I just didn't have time to do a voiceover and all that kind of stuff and speed up the video I've just gotta like I said I want to I want to keep doing these I don't know if it's bad to finish stuff up after you've signed your name to it that should be the last thing but I wasn't happy with these eyebrows anyway um, so so yeah, uh, <laughs> that is Elvira, and uh, again, if you guys have suggestions of what you want to see me uh, do for these Fan Art Fridays, let me know, and uh, you guys have a happy Halloween, and like I said, I'm going to go do some Halloween stuff and hopefully film some of it, so I'll have a video coming up 
of all that. Uh, but until then, until next Friday, um, this has been Scott with CircWorks, and you can follow me on CircWorks.com. And if you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, you can do that and like and comment and all that kind of stuff. If you guys have suggestions for other uh, fan art that you want to see me do, please let me know. And so, yeah, that's it for that's it for today. I'll see. If you're just watching Fan Art Friday, I'll see you next week. If you're watching other stuff, then I'll see you before then. Well, I won't see you, but you'll see me or hear me or something. And I'm rambling. So, <laughs> you guys, have a good Halloween. That is all.